Let's look at another way to decompose sorting problems. Here we have a few cards which we would like to sort. With insertion sort, we took one card and then we sorted the rest and then we inserted the card into the rest. With merge sort, we split the cards into two groups, sorted each half, and then merged them together. In each case, our splitting approach didn't look at what the numbers on the cards were at all. So we're going to try doing that this time and see how it works. This approach is called quick sort. The way it's going to work is we're going to look at the first card. Here it's a 7. Then we're going to go through all of the cards and split them by whether they're larger or smaller than 7. Let's do that now. On the ground I have two piles of cards, those larger than 7 on the left and those smaller than 7 on the right. Then I have my single 7. Now how do we solve our problem? Well, let's turn our two piles into sorting problems marked with rubber bands just as before. Now I've got two subproblems and we can sort each of them by using quick sort again. Let's go through that. Now I have two piles of cards, both of which are sorted, and I have one single 7. We know that all the cards on the left are bigger than 7, all the cards on the right are smaller than 7, and then we have 7, so we can put our piles together very easily. We just take this pile, then we put 7 on top, then we put all these cards on top, and now we have a sorted group of cards. And that's the basic idea of quicksort.